This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi, viewers. In this video today, we will learn how to insert a clip art in slide. As you know, clip art is a ready-made collection of different types of pictures. Microsoft PowerPoint also provides this feature to insert a clip art in slide. Follow the given steps. First, click the Insert tab on the ribbon. Now, click the clip part from Images group. First, we will read the definition of clip art. It defines as insert clip art into the document, including drawings, movies, sounds, or stock photography to illustrate a specific concept. So we will click on this clip art from the images group. So viewers, you can see that we can see a clip art section and all the media files types. So if I raise this search and click the go button, then it shows all the pictures like illustrations, photographs, videos, audios. So we need to search the picture of rabbit so what we will do we will uh, type rabbit over here and we will then can see that we can find the pictures of multiple pictures of the animal rabbit in the in this pan so the clip art task pen appears on the right side of the window this is called the click up our clip art task pen and it shows at the right side of the window so, now we'll select this picture and we'll place it over here in our presentation. So, as you can see that we can resize the picture of this animal, rabbit. We can increase or decrease and this is how it is happens. Now, the picture gets inserted in the slide and we'll click the drop down arrow on the picture and select the insert option. From here, viewers, you can see that if you want to edit the clip art image, we can see as the inserting the clip art image from the format tab automatically opens. You can see these tools to edit the clip art image. And to recolor a clip art image, we will follow the given steps. First, we will double click on the clip art image to select it this way. And then we will go to the color sections from the adjust group we will read the definition so change the color of the picture to improve quality or match document content so we'll click on this button so we'll select any style like you can apply it as you can see that the it's a gold color accent color for dark different schemes you can find like this is the pink one this is the orange one which has an accent color of 6 and it's an orange one and against the purple one again pink one and pink so as you can see that lavender pink purple orange gold different colors are available so we will select this one in this case and we'll select it and you can see you can see that slide we have just applied can be seen on the image we can delete any placeholder by first selecting and then press delete key from the keyboard like this. If you click and then press the delete key then you can see that we can delete the placeholder by just pressing the delete key from the keyboard. And if you want to see more variations like uh, you want to change the style then we can go to the picture styles group. First we will select at the format tab this way and from here we can change different picture styles we can apply on it this way you can see viewers it looks better just we have multiple picture styles from the format tab 
So in this case, we will select this one. And now, since you have seen that, you have noticed that when I we click on the color button from the adjust group, then you can see that there are more variations available. Like there are different colors you can apply as well of your own choice. Here, if you want to change the color, then you can apply this one. Like I would like to select this one, so I will apply it. And now, if uh, you can see that the set transparent color option, and then you can see the picture colors options. So there are multiple options are available. You can apply it to the picture. You can compress the picture as well. Now you can see that compress pictures means that it does the compression. And with the help of this, you can see that the print to 20 ppi excellent quality on most printers on screens. Screen 150 ppi is the regular picture good for the web pages and projectors. If you want to do the email, you can use this one. This way you can, uh, you know, compress the picture size and it is a very useful tool and use document resolution. So multiple target output you can use from the compressed pictures options. And if you want to apply a different picture effects, like here you can see multiple pictures are available. You can apply different picture styles, different picture effects. Even you can apply 3D options. So I will select this one. And if you want to change the shadow, which is a very attractive, if you apply it in your presentation, which is not really done in nowadays presentation, people use this shadow effect, which is very useful. Like in this case, I will select this one. And as you can see that there's picture layout as well, picture border, you can apply border as well. So I would like to select a yellow one, an orange one, this one. So I'm going to select this one. So you, viewers, you can see that you can apply the border as well to the picture. And if you want to change 3D rotation like this, there are multiple effects you can apply by using the picture effect 3D rotation. So here in this case I would like to select this one. It should look better. So I would like to select this one. It looks better. So we were so today we have learned how to apply picture styles, picture effects and applying colors and orientations tools uh, using the image, the clip art. And if you want to rotate the clip art image, we will follow the given steps like double click the image. We want to select this way. And then we will click the rotate icon from the range group. So you can see that the, the range group, and we can rotate the image like this and flip and flip horizontal so you can rotate it according to your desire your requirement you can change all this the rotation even you can change the height as well the width as well you can even move make changes to height position rotation even you can make the rotation this way as well if you want to make slight difference you can always use this rotation from the size group and if you want to see that best scale for this is the best scale if you want to change the size you can always go for it so viewers we have noticed that there are multiple options multiple tools and multiple effects can be applied to clip art and they are very helpful and it makes your presentation more and more attractive so if you want to reduce the size, you can always do it. If you can type manual, like if I type 100%, then it goes like this. If I type 300, you can see a larger image, as you've seen before. So viewers, I hope that you find it helpful. 
in learning your and improving your skills using clipart in microsoft powerpoint so that's all and thanks for watching